So, lads, it is the big day. You guys can see in the bottom of my screen right there, we got the three Daryl Griffith cards. There is one minute to go until these cards are coming out. So we are going to be able to see how big of an effect they're going to be, whether they're a good thing or not. If you guys want to see the stats on these cards, they are in a previous video from about, I would say, like 90 or so minutes ago. By the time this is out. Yeah, it's like, it's an hour and 10 minutes uh, ago now, but it'll be a little bit, um, be a little bit longer than that by the time this video is coming out, about 90 minutes ago. You can see the stats there. So we now can, now we wait. Now we wait. See how these guys are going to be achievable. Okay. So I think we're going to be able to get in right now. Lifetime agendas. Okay. Is the card here? Is the card here? It is not. It is not here right now. Is it in season agendas? It is not. So they're already late. But it all depends on how late they are. They are already late with this. They could be... They could just be holding out on something. I don't think so. Because, again, I'm on Twitch right now. Link will be in the description. Um, and let's have a look. 2K apparently just tweeted out right now. So 2K have tweeted... New Lifetime Agenda Group. Daryl Griffith's Highlight Film Live. Earn and play Emerald and Ruby Daryl Griffith and complete the group to get his diamond version. So complete the Lifetime Agenda Group to get Daryl Griffith. It currently does not exist. Okay, we are going to restart up. People are saying it's there so we can see what this is finally. So, um, yeah, it's in lifetime agendas. We can see, we can see right now. Um, the graphic looks very cool. I'm just going to give 2K props for that on Twitter. Okay. So it seems like there's a hell of a lot to do according to some people, but that's to be expected. It's a diamond early. So Daryl Griffith, 50 points of jazz players, 25 dunks with Emerald Daryl Griffith get ruby so we're 200 points to the ruby so we're 75 points over multiple uh, you can combo this as much as i hate having to use multiplayer games you can easily combo this um score 41 points in a single game rookie dom 10 steals that's annoying easy uh 10 games triple shot off on using three jazz players win five games triple shot online you know what like you get a free colossal award pack like you get quite a lot for this you actually get decent awards. So let me think of how long this could take. Like, this is a diamond card. Like, comparing this to, like, the Domination Diamond, you get a two of these free packs. So let's just say you get the Griffith Steals. Let's just say you can get 10 Steals while doing a lot of these. You're going to be using him as one of the Jazz players. So, like, you combo challenges. You always combo challenges. So this is going to take you 15, 20 minutes. And then you can also... When Tang is triple chat offline, you literally do this in three games. You use three triple chat offline players, um, and you, or three Jazz players in triple chat offline, and you have completed three of these games and got this done. And then you do triple chat offline with the Emerald one. 25 dunks, three games. You got six of these done. And again, you try to get steals in those triple chat offline games. You, This is one rookie dom game. You get most of those steals in a rookie dom game. Then 75 points are multiple multiplayer games. This, could, this is going to be take the longest. Like this can take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour. And this kind of has to be done separately. Like this actually, sorry, this counts as these points. So I would get these 75 points first, and you only have 125 to go with these. And then also you've got this as well. So you get these 75s, so that's 110. So you only have 100 points. You can do it in 15, 20 minutes. Especially if you're going for the 25 dunks. And if you're doing that in triple chat offline, you basically have the 200 points done. The 92 three-pointers with shooting guides is what's going to take the longest. That's going to take the longest. 
the quickest way of doing that, like, I'd say five minutes to make seven. Like, that's going to take about an hour and a half. So I think if you combo everything here and do this in the fastest time possible, it's about... I think if you do this as fast as possible, about five or six hours. I think it's about five or six hours. I think it's it's okay. The only problem is this game right here. I actually don't think this is going to be that bad. Like, if you're okay tanking your record, like, it's not going to be that difficult because most of the time, you're going to be running with pe into people that are running three Jazz players a lot. So, I just want to see what Jazz players I have in my collection. If you have Jazz players, um, honestly, they're going to go for a ton. So, I just need to check my collection to see how many I have. Search, players, um, doesn't matter. Team Jazz. I actually hope I have three Jazz players. I literally have three. I literally have three Jazz players. And they are all rewards. So I'm lucky. If you have any Utah Jazz players, they're selling for quite a lot. And you can also get the Joe Ingles card. So overall, I reckon it's about a three-hour grind if you do this quick. If, you, if you're good at the game, this is about a three-hour grind. If you're bad at the game, this is going to be about a four-hour, five-hour grind. It's, not lo it's no longer than five hours. So, like, you compare that five hours. Like, if you're saying, oh, that's too long. It is half of the time it takes to complete the spotlights. It is literally half the time it takes for these spotlights. So, look, that is a, that is quite a big one. That is quite a big one there. So, um, I think it's worth doing. I really do at this stage. You can, if you are trying to get him today, it's a long grind. If you are cool with getting him by like Thursday, Friday, you're, you can easily get him without putting in too much time. It's about five, six hours. It's probably about three to four hours if you're good at the game. Five, six hours max. Five, six hours max, no matter what level you play at. The only thing that can hold you off really is this right here. Like, it's not gonna, like, a lot of the time you're gonna probably get most of the 75 in these five wins triple chat online. We're using three Jazz players, if you, if you combo these. But, um, yeah, so, guys like Stockton, there's a lot of guys that are going to be very expensive right now. Don't be stupid and buy a Jazz player right now. Just just a heads up. And these are lifetime agendas. There's no rush on this. This Diamond card is going to be good for quite a while. He really is. He is going to be good for quite a while. He's slightly better Richie Garen. Does he make my team? Maybe not. I'm just going to get him to get him. I wish, again, people are saying there should have been a draft token. I really wish there was a draft token. But, um, yeah, that is pretty much how to get this guy quickly. And... Honestly, I don't mind what 2K have done. I like it. I like it. I genuinely like it. Like, I really like how they've implemented this card. Like, do I wish, would I prefer if it was a season agenda and you could get it from XP? Yes, of course. But, long term, anyone can pretty much get these guys. It's a lifetime agenda. It's there for the season. If you're a big, big fan of Daryl Griffith, if you're a Jazz fan, you want to make a Jazz team, it's there for the whole for the whole year, not just the season. So I like it. I like it. I genuinely like what 2K have done. So 2K, um, as always, as somebody who uh, criticizes things when I feel there's criticism needed, I have to be consistent and give credit where credit's due. I like what they've done. I like what they've done here for this Daryl Griffith card. So anyway, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.